come over to the Devel website. And what I recommend is you grab the 5.1 version and I'll jump over to my terminal. Not that, not that one, that's code. And I will download Devel using Composer. So give that a second. And then if we jump back into our site and what I'll do, is I'll go here, let me unpin this. There we go. Let's close that. Let's move that. So all the tabs are nicely organized because they can get out of whack when you're jumping around. And let's go to extend and search for Devel. Now here you will see two modules, Devel, Devel Generate. Let's install Devel for now, but I think you can kind of figure what Devel Generate does. It uses to generate test content, but we'll look at that later. Let that install. And then up the top here, you should see this Devel um, button here in the in the actual toolbar. And from here, you can do a bunch of stuff. You can clear the cache quickly, which is very important. Uh, you can view container information. Now, this is useful for figuring out and finding these services because one thing that I grapple with a lot, even, even after developing Drupal or Drupal 8 sites, well, since they um, put in services, is just trying, trying to figure out what service to use because it can sometimes be pretty difficult to figure out, okay, if I want to load up something or I want to do something, where's the API for it? Well, you can figure it out through here. You can, you can search for services and things like that. Then you can access the uh, Devel settings. Then you can rebuild from here. You can rebuild uh, the menu. Haven't really had to do this. Generally a cache rebuild fixes it, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Then you can reinstall modules. Now this is specifically if you just want to uninstall, reinstall. So when you're developing a module that utilizes hook install and hook uninstall, or you have config, that gets generated, um, that gets imported in. When you create things, then um, you would want to do it this way. And then another tab, which is very useful for me, which I absolutely love, is this routes. Because a lot, a lot of the times, especially if you're debugging your Drupal site, you come, you come to a page and you're thinking, is it powered by views? Is it a custom controller? Is it something else? And you can easily come here and kind of figure things out. So you can search for, say, admin structure, and it can give you a, a good idea. Okay, this is the route name, and this is the path. Of course, if you're using aliases, your URL aliases, chances are the path, you're not going to find the URL alias here, but it'll give you some way of debugging it. And then on the right-hand side, we have Devel the develop button, which gives you just a bit more information about uh, the actual route. So here you can figure out access. That's another huge thing, figure out access and things like that. All right. And then of course, finally, if you want, you can go ahead and click and run cron. All right. Now let's jump to develop settings and go to toolbar settings. And from here, you can actually enable a few extra things. So let's enable current route info, config info, and theme registry. And click on save. And now what we have is if we go to the homepage and click on, well, no, let's actually go to my account. And if we, and if we click on current route info, that will actually tell you the route information for that page. So straight away you can see, so let me just zoom in a little bit more, hopefully you can see that. It's probably a little too small on the screen, but it just gives you the exact controller where everything is. And it, and, and it's just an easy way of just debugging things and figuring out, okay, this, this path, this route is controlled by a controller. Um, okay, that's it, I can go in there and edit things. Uh, then you have theme registry. This gives you information about all the themes on your site, which is again, useful if you're trying to debug things or you want to find and look for themes. And then you have, and this is an interesting one. I just discovered this while I was preparing for this video. I haven't tried this myself, but hey, you can do it. Config editor. 
Now, I've recently been working on a site where I've been migrating um, um, a bunch of sites from Display Suite to Layer Builder, and I'm dealing with a lot of config, naturally. And having the ability to modify config is actually pretty useful. So you can come along in here and just simply modify, I believe this is the active state config. And sometimes, I don't know when, but it may be handy. But of course, you wouldn't want to run Devel now. I I don't recommend that you run Devel on an actual production site. So just use it locally or even a staging site or a development site or something like that. So just be careful. Don't run it on a dev site. And so let's go back to Devel settings. And then if we come here, we have a bunch of configuration for the settings. I'm not going to go through through it too much. 